Here is Sailor Mercury. She's so cute. Hey, what's up, Sailor Senshi? I'm Sailor Snubs. Welcome to my YouTube channel all about Sailor Moon news, merch reviews, and how-tos. In my ongoing series about Volk's Dolphy Dream Sisters dolls, I have Sailor Mercury to unbox today. Now, Sailor Mercury came out a few years ago, so it's it's been a while. <laughs> but these DDS dolls are pretty hard to find straight from Volks. So she was only available for a limited time through Volks to purchase, and that time correlated with when Sailor Mars was available as well. I chose to purchase Sailor Mars at that time, and I saved up so that I could purchase her at a later time. Unfortunately, if you don't buy these dolls when they first come out, oftentimes resellers will really jack up the prices because they are limited edition and they are very rare. But in her case, she was resold. They had additional stock and they resold her on the Volks website. So I was able to go there and I was just able to purchase her outright and pay the regular MSRP instead of a really, really high like eBay rate. Now, sometimes you can find them for fairly decent prices on places like Yahoo Japan. You can also find them on eBay sometimes, but those prices tend to be a little bit higher. So these Dolphy Dream Sisters are made by Volks. This is a series of different dolls and collaborations that Volks creates, and they just happen to create this collaboration with Sailor Moon. The first one they came out with was Sailor Moon, and then they came out with Sailor Mercury and Mars at the same time, and then we got Sailor Jupiter and Sailor Venus. So I do have all of the four inner Sailor Senshi, and I am releasing different videos, unboxing, and putting together each of these different dolls. It is quite a bit of work and these are very detailed dolls so I am doing separate videos for each of them. You will notice that this is a licensed item so this does have a Toei sticker on it and the price for this Dolphy Dream Sister Sailor Mercury doll was $63,000 MSRP. Yes you did hear me right that is about $600 USD. There was also a high school uniform set for 9,800 yen however I was not able to purchase that so I am still looking online to purchase one of those high school uniform sets. So just like with my last videos of Sailor Mars and Sailor Venus, I'm going to unbox her, show you all the different components and put her together on camera so you can see how she is put together. I also have some tips and tricks that I wanted to share at the end of this video, just in case you're already familiar with Volks dolls and you don't wanna watch that part. But these are personal experience tips and tricks that I have learned from owning the Sailor Mars doll and kind of using her as my basis for learning about these Volk dolls because I, I'm not a doll collector. I just grabbed these ones because I really like premium items in my collection and these are definitely premium items, especially the cost. So I learned a lot about the care and how you're supposed to display them and things like that when I purchased Sailor Mars. And I also learned a lot from your comments on that original video. So I will be sharing a lot of those expert advice pieces at the end of this video. But for now, let's go ahead and break into this box. Let's see what she looks like and let's put together all of her accessories. So first off, of course, on the box, she is dressed, but in the box, she is not dressed. Skip ahead in the video if you don't want to see the doll in the nude. Okay, there's Sailor Mercury. She's just strapped down, so really easy to remove. No knife is necessary, which is great because you can damage the dolls. They are kind of a squishy vinyl material. Okay, so here's the doll herself. These dolls do come with this pretty squishy vinyl exterior for their skin and their body. However, the interior is a plastic skeleton and that skeleton does allow you to pose them really well and they are pretty stiff whenever you pose them, so very easy to use. Also, all of these pieces are replaceable. So if you end up damaging one of her body parts, you can always pull it off and you can replace it with a new piece. The only piece that is not replaceable is her head. Her head is the limited edition piece. Her head is Sailor Mercury. So that's why she has the blue brows, for example, because this is Sailor Mercury's head and you can't replace that. So you definitely wanna make sure that you don't damage her head. Each of the dolls includes a hair wig and that wig is fastened inside of this hair net by a couple of these little doohickeys. So you can carefully remove them from their packaging. I'm just gonna leave this in the hair net for now. 
to ensure that her wig doesn't get out of place. She does come with a pair of vinyl boots. In here we have her tiara and we have her wand. Here's the final piece. This is her fuku, her uniform. The buckles are simple clasped and the collar also comes off. Okay, so in the box we have her uniform, pair of gloves, we have her earrings, her boots, her collar and bow, her tiara, her choker, and her transformation wand. We also have her wig and the body in the head. <laughs> Each of the Dolphy Dream Sisters dolls, the Sailor Guardians, do come with this little flyer which explains how their skeleton works and how their body is situated and how to remove all the different pieces. She also comes with directions. So here we have an inventory. We also have directions on how to put in her earrings. And then we have directions on how to put her together. So I'll set this to the side just in case I need it. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and put on her uniform so you don't have to skip ahead too much. You don't wanna see the doll without the uniform. These Dolphy Dream Sister dolls are pretty cool in the fact that they have a whole bunch of outfits that you can purchase for them and all of them are universally fitting to this specific size of doll because all of these dolls use the same body. So this is the Dolphy Dream Sisters body. The Fuku is pretty form fitting. So when you put it on, you definitely have to put some work into it to get it over her shoulders. And this is the same experience I've had with Sailor Venus and Sailor Mars. So this does fit her really, really tightly and very snugly. So just be careful when you're putting it on not to tear anything. Once it's on, add the clasps. I do this pretty carefully too because they're all just simply sewn on. I don't want to rip anything. Oh my god, it's so tight. Okay. Well, that was super tight on her. Why is your uniform so tight, girl? Uniform is on. Let's go ahead and add the rest of the accessories. We'll start with the collar. The choker is really easy too, so I'll go ahead and add that. I'm doing all the easy parts first, can you tell? <laughs> I'm definitely taking advantage of using my fingernails as much as possible to help with all these little bits. This is her bow. The longest piece goes near the bottom. So in order to put her bow on, I found it's easiest to just stick your finger underneath the front of her uniform to give you a little bit of pressure to apply to the back of these clasps. Same thing on the other side. That way, not pressing down too hard onto her body, trying to get these clasps into place. Go ahead and put her boots on. These boots are really cool looking. So you can tell which one is left and which one is right because they're shaped slightly different than each other. They are a very shiny vinyl material and the top has a bit of a pearlescent sheen to it, which is really pretty. These look like they may be a little tough to put on, but we shall see. That one looks like this one. Oh, that went on super easy. Okay, cool. Thank you, Sailor Mercury. Put on your other shoe, ma'am. Slide it right on. Yeah, that was super easy. All right, cool. I like it when stuff like that is simple. Saves me from having to work too hard on this video. Moving on, we have a couple of gloves that we need to put on. That looks like her thumb right there and there. So that means that this one goes on that hand and this one goes on her right hand like so. You will notice her fingers are very delicate, very small, even have little fingernails on them. They make these really really nicely. You can remove her arm and put her glove on that way. I leave her arm on and use a little bit of pressure against the table to shimmy this onto her fingers. I also use my fingernails to get in between each of the fingers in the glove to stick these onto her fingers because it's very, very tight and very detailed. So take your time. Try not to get ticked off when you're doing this, but it is kind of a struggle. So you can be a little bit firm with them. Like you, you can move around the fingers. So don't worry too much about breaking them. And if you do break them, again, the body parts can be replaced. But I don't think you can break them really. Kinky fingers trying to go into the ring finger glove section. So I'll slide those on. There we go. Okay, all of our fingers are in there. Perfect. Cool. Velcro her glove on. There we go. I feel like I'm getting better at this the more of these dolls that I purchase. So maybe it's a good thing that I haven't purchased Sailor Moon yet. She can be the very last one. Well, hopefully she's not the very last one because it would be really nice if we got Outer Sailor Senshi as well. I would love to have all the Outer Sailor Senshi as bulk dolls as Dolphy Dream Sister dolls as well, because that would be amazing. Okay, come here, girl. I'm trying to get that thumb all the way in there. Got a little bit of movement. Almost like her gloves are slightly too big for her. Okay, I think I got it on there all the way, so go ahead and close up shop on that one. Got her gloves on. Cool. So what's left? Earrings, tiara, 
her wand, which she just can hold, and her wig. So this is where I'm gonna share some tips and tricks. This is the Volks tape that you can purchase to protect the body and the head of your Dolphy Dream Sister doll from any kind of staining or any kind of marks. The interesting thing about this tape though is I would not recommend putting this tape directly on the body of your Volks doll. The reason why I say that is because I did that on my Sailor Mars Volks doll and some of the adhesive from the bottom side of this tape did come off on her body and I had to clean it up. It did take some time to clean it up and it was really annoying. So I would recommend just putting this either on the gloves themselves, like on the outside of these pieces of the gloves, or you can purchase the full body con. So they do have an option that looks like an entire body slip that can cover the entire body of your character that you purchase from Volks, and that will protect them as well from staining. The problem is this kind of vinyl material, a lot of darker colors like this blue right here and the blue on her gloves, that can stain the body. And it can also stain the head. The tiara, for example, this gold paint, that can stain the head and it stains really, really quickly and really easily. So what I'm gonna do is put tape on the back of this tiara and then just tear the edges so that it doesn't show from the front. And then that's what I'll put on her head. Also, the body is replaceable. So if you do damage any of these pieces with the tape or with staining from the gloves, for example, you can always replace them. Yes, it does cost extra money, but you could do that. The other option is if you do put tape on the body or on the head, you could always just replace it every year so that none of the adhesive has time to end up adhering to the actual body of your Dolphy Dream Sister doll. So that may be just a climate thing. I do live in a very dry climate, so that maybe that's why the adhesive comes off onto the doll, the adhesive part of the tape, but maybe it's not. So I just try to lean on the side of caution, especially with these dolls being so expensive. I'm just choosing not to put tape on any of the bodies of these dolls because that's my personal experience because they do leave some adhesive on the body of the doll after some time of having them on there. So in order to protect them from the tiara, what I'm going to do is take a strip, apply it to the back of the tiara, and then I'll tear the edges so that you can't see it from the front. This was also recommended by some of my commenters, so thank you so much for commenting on my videos. Also, the tape is pretty inexpensive from Volks, so if you do order some, you can go pretty nuts with it and not feel bad. So if you ever have to redo this, it's okay. Don't feel bad for having to use up a whole bunch of tape. So the tape is really thin, which makes it really easy to just tear along the edges of the tiara. So I'm gonna do that real quick and then this accessory will be ready to go. This entire process does take a lot of patience to ensure you don't damage anything. So I would recommend doing this on a day that you do have time to do so. Okay, so now we have the tape on the tiara. You will notice that you can see a little bit of it around the edges, but when I put this on under her wig, you're not going to notice that, so I'm not too worried about it. So the other thing I wanted to mention while I am working on these accessories is the earrings. Interestingly enough, Sailor Venus, her earrings come with backings. Sailor Mercury and Sailor Mars do not have backings on their earrings. The earrings are pretty frustrating to put in, and there are a few different ways to do so. I was able to use a needle and put the earrings in that way, but I was really worried about like poking into the skin behind her ear. So that may be kind of dangerous if you don't have a steady hand. I will most likely do this after the fact because it does take some time and a steady hand in order to do that and I don't want to feel rushed. So I'm going to wait on the earrings. So how do you protect her head from this blue dye in her hair? It's pretty easy to do. Now I used to put tape directly onto the skin on the doll, but I don't recommend that anymore because of my experience with Sailor Mars. So what I'm going to do instead is use one of these. So this is a Volks head cap that you can put on your dolls. It's a large, it's a little bit big on her head. There's a little bit of wiggle room up at the top. So I always scrunch this thing down as far as I can. And then I put the wig on on top of it. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. There we go. And I'll pull it down as far as I can in the back so that it won't be seen in the front. Now that that's done, her hair is already styled and parted. There's a little bit of a crease there that I will have to get out, but other than that, it looks pretty much perfect. So 
what I'm going to do in order to put this on her head is I will start with the back, move her bangs out of the front with my fingers so they don't end up under the wig. And then I will slide it on top of the head cap. So there is a slight bit of elastic to her wig. So I just stick my hands underneath it and kind of stretch it out just a little bit. Start in the front and then shimmy it on to her head front to back. And I try to get it on as accurate as possible so I don't have to move it around on top of that head cap. So I don't have to mess with it later. But you'll notice that the head cap is covering up her head to protect her from the dye on all sides. The only thing that is touching is the back of her head. Just a little bit. Yeah, it feels like it's on. Okay, I think we did it. All right, so that was not not bad. That was pretty easy. I'm gonna move the head cap in just a little bit, just at the edge of this wig. There we go. So that you can't really see the head cap. Okay, she looks good. All right, so last thing to add is her tiara. So that's gonna go in between the head cap and her wig. Slide it on one side and slide it under on the other side. This will give it a little bit of structure so that it doesn't move around and it doesn't fall. And that tiara adds a little bit of a buffer between her bangs and her skin so that it doesn't sit directly on her face. There you go, Sailor Mercury. Ta-da! Here is Sailor Mercury. She's so cute. I love that she has the blue brows. I love that her eyes are so bright and shiny. They look super pretty. And her fuku, her outfit, fits really, really well. So I'm really happy with it as well. What do you think of Sailor Mercury? I think she looks amazing. Her hair is a little messed up, so I do need to brush it out and you know, make it look decent. But the other thing I wanted to mention too was how to stand them up and how to pose them. So I got one of these, this is a C stand. It's a saddle basically. And you can set this right underneath her and she basically just balances on it. And this definitely helps with posing your characters. So they have a lot of motion. Since they are fully posable, you can basically put them in any pose that you want. For example, I have her standing like so on top of her saddle, her C-stand. I think she's so cute. You know, honestly, now that I'm actually getting around to unboxing all of my Dolphy Dream dolls, I really want to get Sailor Moon. So what do you think of Sailor Mercury? I think she was really easy to put together. And luckily I learned a lot about taking care of these Dolphy dream sister dolls from Sailor Mars. So I was able to kind of speed through this process pretty quickly. But if you have any questions about how to take care of her or about the accessories or where to purchase her or how to purchase her, definitely let me know down in the comments below. I am so grateful that I was able to get her at MSRP during the resell on the Volks website. I will put the original link down below so you can see some of the promo photos and you can see more information about how to purchase dolls from the Volks website. Hopefully in a future video I will be able to show you the school uniform but I'm still on the hunt for her school uniform. It's really hard to find. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already because I do have a whole bunch of different videos coming out right now. You can see it over there. I recently unboxed my Sailor Venus Dolphy Dream Sisters doll and I also had the Sailor Mars video which I posted like a year and a half ago. I'm also going to be unboxing Sailor Jupiter if I haven't already so definitely Definitely subscribe and check out all of those videos of the Dolphy Dream Sisters dolls. If you are interested in seeing this kind of content where I review different dolls, the only ones I'm interested in would be Sailor Moon dolls, nothing else, <laughs> then let me know down in the comments. And I think that wraps up today's video, so thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this whole process of putting together Sailor Mercury. I think Amy looks amazing in her outfit, in her fuku, and I am so excited to show you the rest of my Dolphy dolls. So until next time, I'm Sailor Snubs. Johnny.